Okay, howdy everybody. This one's going to be a little bit of a different video. Not going to be anything related to video games, music, uh, movies, or anything like that. Even though there could be stuff that ties into different forms of media and entertainment out there. I'm just going to try to stick to certain things, different facts that I know. This is about um, my disorder, my mental disorder, which is called schizotypal, schizotypal, schizotypal personality disorder. My um, reality as it exists for me and the things that go on, you know, sometimes in my thoughts um, and stuff that I don't really care to admit to sometimes, but certain things that do need to be addressed. And I think um, why I'm maybe so aloof, why I, you know, am not um, involved in certain circles and groups and stuff like that. This might clear the air as far as why I am the way that I am, why my personality is the way that it is. Schizotypal right here. I mean, <clears throat> for people with schizotypal, overview right here. This is from the Mayo Clinic, by the way. I just want to cite that this is actually on, it'll be one of the first results when you're looking this up. Is a disorder is often described as odd or eccentric, and it's usually, and they usually have few, if any, close relationships. They usually don't know how relationships form or how the behavior affects others. So even trouble and difficulty forming relationships and not necessarily understanding different things, which I don't think I'm the worst with it, but like as far as like how extreme it can get, like it can get worse. But I do have relationships with like certain friends, peers, even the people like my religious beliefs and stuff like that, like different uh, congregation members. Like I do have some relationships, like I'm studying things and, you know, I, I talk to people. But as far as going outside all the time and, you know, for events, uh, that's something that I do have tip difficulty with. Like as far as my personal, like, the things going on in my thoughts, my mind, and how things do affect me, how this disorder kind of affects me, it's like it is difficult to go outside and want to be around people and socialize and be a part of like communities and stuff like that whenever you know this stuff is just it really creates a whole different reality inside of your brain like and it does i mean that's the sad part about some of these disorders is that it's like you have a whole a whole different reality inside your thoughts and if you allow those thoughts to kind of take hold or control you and stuff like that i think that's when it gets worse if you're not dealing properly dealing with it with medications, um, therapy, and just developing close relationships with people or trying to break out of that, like you're not stuck in your head and just ruminating or worrying, like you have to really work on those things. Like especially, and that's what I would recommend is like if you're somebody that you think is suffering from schizotypal or any form of schizophrenia or mental disorder consult a doctor somebody that's a trained professional psychologist or a counselor there's probably plenty of them you can either do them online or do personal ones <clears throat> as far as like treatment diagnostic or diagnoses and then the different medications a lot of psych meds there's psych meds that can help to reduce the effects of those who have these like delusions or hearing things in their head and stuff like that so <clears throat> I just want to make sure people understand that before I move forward here and these are some of the symptoms right here that I can definitely attest to pretty much across the board with this type of stuff now personality disorder usually includes five or more of these symptoms the person may and I am also saying this based on other people telling me, uh, psychiatrists, and other people have told me. So, <clears throat> being a loner, lack close friends, other relationships, okay? And that's one, and I've had that, so I'm just gonna check these off. Have flat emotions, have emotionless responses, limited. Two, I've had 
issues with that. Have too much anxiety. That's three. <clears throat> Incorrect, incorrectly interpret events. Feelings are something harmless, offensive, or directly or direct personal meaning. So that's four for me. Strange, unusual thinking. That's five. And so that's pretty much all you would need right there. But I've suffered from everything that you see here. Paranoid thoughts every now and again. It's not constant. All this stuff is not a constant thing for me. It fluctuates every day as to like the severity of it. And usually when I'm not on my purpose or when I'm, I'm not really too focused on certain things, like my God, the God that I serve, um, the God that I believe in, Jehovah, since I am trying to study to become a Jehovah's Witness, if I'm doing things that go out of alignment with that, especially in my personal like who I am as a person, if it goes against my moral code, ethics, um, my standards, then obviously I'm going to have some conflict. And it does feel as though I do have conflict whenever I'm doing things that are out of harmony. So there it is. Um, sensing absent person's presence, that does seem kind of odd too, but I've had some stuff that feels kind of like that. Maybe dress a little odd or just have my own way of doing things. You know, I just kind of not dressing to impress all the time. Not too concerned. <clears throat> Maybe speak in odd ways or vague, unusual patterns. Okay, so pretty much all of these things, at least to varying degrees, you know. And yes, I'm on meds. I do counseling and other stuff like that or have done it. And I also study regularly the Bible with Jehovah's Witnesses, which continues to ground me, keeps me in a more positive and a more solid state of mind. When I am doing things that are on my purpose for what I believe in, and the things that I feel like are grounding me in reality, and things, you know, anything that goes off track or off course is something that will interfere with that. So I don't want to go on too much. But again, I am going to point out some like scriptures here. I'm going to point out certain things that will kind of give a little bit deeper context in this stuff and deeper meaning because there are folks out there and I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to poo-poo people for their belief systems. I'm not going to attack people for what they believe. Um, if they have some alternative ways of thinking, different ways of thought, and stuff like that have their own personal views or <clears throat> how they even interpret the Bible that's them that's that's you know they've read it from somebody else or somebody else has taught them that but as far as like what I personally believe and uh, what I've been studying and the things that I'm following you know Jehovah's Witnesses seem to pretty have seem to have a pretty solid view and a solid like like as far as how they think the world works, how things actually are, the interpretation of the Bible, it seems like it's the most concrete, um, purest form, at least in my view and the way that, you know, I've studied things, it just feels like it is the truth. So what I'm gonna get into here is the fact, the fact that certain people do believe that these uh, paranoid delusions and that all these things that are in their brain could be them possibly ascending or going I don't know like there's different beliefs for different you know religions right there's collective consciousness there's you know ascension and all that stuff like you and astrology and all these other things and some of this stuff is kind of like some of it overlaps I would say and I don't really know I don't want to point you in that direction I'm just gonna reference things and if you want to do your own research on it, you can. But there are people out there that have like beliefs that are like they can talk to people that are either dead or not there, or they can like even forms of mediums and stuff like that, or have a collective like thought, like their thoughts can be stored somewhere in a cloud. Like that's what collective consciousness is. It's like 
they call it Christ consciousness, but again, that stuff is going too far into the weeds for me. I'm not somebody that subscribes to any of those things that that is a real thing or like hive minds. I've heard of people talking about these things and to me that that would be, you know, just, I don't know, just delusions um, and people that might have a certain idea of what <clears throat> they're interpreting the world through whatever lens and if they're reading books or if people are talking to them it could be very well a false prophet and that's why I am pulling up certain like scriptures and stuff false Christ and false prophet prophets will arise and will perform signs and wonders to lead astray if possible the chosen ones so I'm not really like a real solid I wouldn't be like the most solid source credibility when it comes to but I've been pretty close to the witnesses Jehovah's Witnesses for like most of my life right like throughout my whole childhood throughout my teenage years um, 20s now in my 30s I've had a pretty close relationship with witnesses and I've never been as far as I can tell I haven't been led astray by them um, they do have a certain way of doing things. Some people think that their belief system is pretty odd, um, that it's a little too strict, you know, that it's, you know, that, that it's like taking away something. That's something I've never fully believed. Um, like I've questioned them too. It's not like I haven't questioned Jehovah's Witnesses belief system, but I've never subscribed to some of these false teachings and stuff like that. And I've even looked into what people have said about them. And most of it has been debunked if they have talked about them a certain way um, the things that they say sometimes are just people that are trying to muddy the waters kind of again <clears throat> make things more complicated when it comes to finding the truth so and uh, we're also going to talk about this Deuteronomy since we talk about false prophets going into what Deuteronomy and this is something that even when I was studying before and I don't want to go too far, too much longer into this we're on 12 minutes right now there should not be found among you anyone who makes his son or his daughter pass through the fire anyone who employs divination anyone practicing magic omens sorcerers anyone binding others with spells so you can clearly tell with some of this stuff that I've been talking about that there could be stuff that is involved with signs and wonders uh, people that have delusions or these could be things that are false doctrines and teachings that doesn't necessarily mean like I'm saying those people are evil or they're bad or people that have those belief systems are just you know I'm just saying be cautious be very weary and be cautious of some of those folks what their intentions are are they trying to do you think their intentions are pure or do they have ulterior motives like do they actually want to give you the truth or are they just people that want to benefit from in some way it could be financial or other things like that so just be very cautious so and then the, the only last thing I'll probably add here is whenever you are dealing with stuff like this if you are somebody that studies the Bible whether it's with witnesses or if you have your own beliefs on it something that should go without saying is putting on the complete suit of armor with God so Ephesians 6 11 putting on the complete suit of armor so that you might be able to stand firm against the devil having what they would call like the breastplate the armor and all that stuff the helmet studying regularly praying going to meetings doing things and then not acting out of harmony with it at the end of the day if you're doing stuff that is acting out of harmony with God's Holy Spirit and if uh, you know you can tell there's something going on or stewing within you like it's like you might feel anger or strife or guilt over certain things like that could there could be some reason for that so I know I went on a lot of a big tangent talking about schizophrenia we went in a little bit into the you know the biblical side of these things some of the spiritual 
beliefs of other people. I don't want to make this a common occurrence on my channel, but I do want to touch on these things because this is what I'm per I currently have going on within my thoughts, my brain. I do believe there's a spiritual component to some of these things, though, so I was trying to caution people for the future when dealing with stuff like this that, you know, the Bible can really be a very useful tool in helping you if you're grounded in that, if you understand certain aspects of that, and you're not paying attention to all these signs and wonders and people that could be trying to lead you astray. I'm not going to say they're outright charlatans, but some people are just misled themselves. They could have like a false assumption or a false idea, and they just followed it their whole life. And they might not have come to the conclusion yet that that is not good or it's there's something negative there. So we're at 16. We're at 16 minutes. So I am going to end it here. And if you do like these videos, if you want me to do other videos similar to this, I'm not going to really cite too many things from the Jehovah's Witness uh, website because this is on the Witness website. They want you to actually go to their website for any of their actual videos or Watchtower or anything like that. They would prefer you go to the source of the information. I'm just using scriptures to reference. You could do this on other websites too, I guess. Like you could look up scriptures elsewhere, but since this is what I believe, I'm looking up scriptures on their website since this seems, you know, like the, the form of worship that I do. So, so yeah, we've gone through all these things. And I just want to say thank you for watching the video. And if you guys have any questions, put them in the comments down below, like what they believe or other things like that. But you can also go to their website if you want to know what witnesses themselves do believe. Always go to the source of the information. Don't just take it from somebody else or, you know, they might, they might have a false idea. They might try. I mean, I'm not saying they're bad people either, but I'm just saying. <clears throat> and again, if you like it, subscribe and come back for uh, further videos. Thank you.